as the question says a box weighing 2000 newton is to be slowly slid through 20 meters on a straight track having friction coefficient 0.2 with the box a find the work done by the person pulling the box with a chain at an angle theta with the horizontal b find the work when the person has chosen a value of theta which ensures him the minimum magnitude of force now if we draw the free body diagram of this question we can show it as a block of mass m having a frictional force f1 in the opposite direction of the applied force which is actually the pulling force p at an angle theta and the block having the mg force in the downward direction while a normal reaction n1 now here we have been given the weight as 2000 newtons so we have mg equals to 2000 newtons so the displacement has also been given as 20 meters so s equals to 20 and the coefficient has also been given as mu equals to 0.2 proceeding with the first part of this question that is find the work done by the person pulling the box at an angle theta now framing the equation in the vertical direction we get mg that is 2000 equals to n1 plus p sine theta marking it as equation number one let us frame an equation in horizontal direction which is simply p cos theta equals to 0.2 n1 that is the frictional force marking is at equation number two now from both of these equations we can solve the value of p simply by putting the value of n1 from one into the other giving us 400 over cos theta plus 0.2 sin theta so marking it as equation number three let us proceed ahead with the work done we all know that work done is f dot s or f dot ds kind integral so here we will have p s cos theta that is eight thousand cos theta over cos theta plus 0.2 sin theta giving us 40,000 over 5 plus tan theta marking it as equation number four which gave us the answer for the first part let us proceed for the second part of the same question that is find the work when the person has chosen a value of theta which ensures him the minimum magnitude of the force now you all must be knowing that in case we need to find the minimum and the maximum we can find the value of the variable by differentiating that expression so here also we will be doing the same now uh, we will be saying that we have to find out the theta which ensures him the minimum magnitude of force so we will be actually differentiating the denominator cos theta plus point to sin theta with respect to theta and putting it to value zero why we have done this is we need to find the minimum force that is the magnitude so it will be there when the denominator will be the maximum so we are actually maximizing the denominator which can be done by finding out the value of theta that is by differentiating this expression with respect to theta and getting a value of theta by equating it to zero here we got tan theta equals to point 0.2 this means that for this value of tan theta this denominator will be maximum which in turn will provide us the p minimum putting back this value of tan theta in the work expression that is equation number four 
we can say that work done is equals to 40,000 over 5 plus 0.2 that is approximately equals to 7692 joules.